What's up guys, it's Cinema Dan here, and we're gonna go ahead and talk about the best, not only, the newest Ghostbusters. It's so amazing that that we use. Well, have you seen my sunglasses and my coat? Spoiler alert. It's not a bad movie. Altogether, it's it's a pretty good. It's a pretty good. No, it's a pretty good. It's a pretty good movie. It's a pretty good movie. For the first time in New York history, a room full of people froze to death in July. What up guys? The real Cinema Dan here and Mr. Spoiler. Coming at you live and loud. How's it going guys? I'm the real Cinema Dan. Don't let him say anything to you guys, okay? And we're talking about the whole new movie. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. It's Only in I scared the fuck out of me. What did you say? It was terrible. It was awesome. Yeah, actually, yeah, actually, kind of was. It was amazing. It was a great continuation from Ghostbusters Afterlife. It picks up picks up about two years after the events of the first Ghostbusters movie. And honestly, not wow. Well, you guys know what I mean. The force after the the afterlife. Two years after the events of afterlife. There we go. Uh, I thought afterlife really sucked, but this one you could watch. Oh, every single Ghostbusters in order. But if you have never seen a Ghostbusters, this would be a fine way to start the franchise. Be a terrible way to start the franchise because they really don't. Introduce any we introduce any characters. I feel like, like honestly, you have to be at least watch at least the first Ghostbusters, and the, and the Afterlife Ghostbusters before you guys even touch Frozen Empire. Exactly. So with Bill Murray, you have to watch Garfield. But you know what's a fun fact? Since you want to bring up Garfield, did you know that Garfield? Lorenzo Muse voice, voiced Garfield in the 80s as well as Peter Vinkman from the real Ghostbusters while Bill Murray played the live action Peter Vinkman and, and voiced Garfield in the live action movies. That's crazy. So, so they show... So Lorenzo Music literally like... He knew what he was doing apparently. Yeah, but, follow Bill Murray. Connection back, that, that's fine, it's kind of ironic. But, off topic, let's go ahead and go back to the review of the movie. Honestly, this movie was actually really good. And, all around. It just left me wondering. Since the uh, new Big Bad Ghost is a pre-Sumerian deity... So he's older than Gozo. Who would win the fight? Gozo, the Sim Gozo, or him? Oh, Gozer. No, no chance. I mean, he might be a Sumerian god, but a pre thing is, pre Sumerian. Pre Sumer. Oh, pre Sumerian. He's older than Gozo. Well, I I still think that Gozer would win. Yeah, well, just Gozo summons a giant Stay Puft Marshmallow Man to be the destructor. This guy is literally the destructor. The Frozen Destructor, mm -hmm. mind you, and and the thing is, one of the scariest. I'm just gonna say one of the scariest people that we've seen in any, any Ghostbusters movie as an antagonist. Oh just, yes, the true evil has returned to harass the Ghostbusters again. I don't speak his name. Water Peck. Has returned to harass the Ghostbusters. Makes sense. They're back in New York. 30 years later. Now he's the mayor of New York. 
Oops. And he, he makes sheets of blue glass. That's <laughs> what's all right. <laughs> Not peck, you prick. My bad, my bad. Sorry. So, <laughs> so basically, our, our, our story aside, this movie is definitely a thrill, a joy. Maybe a little long-winded in some points, but all around, a great watch. Don't call it long, long-winded. The the first half of the movie is long-winded. Yeah. Like, the first half of the movie kind of sucks, but that bring-up right there, right at the midpoint of the movie, amazing. Yeah, and also just it wasn't. Like, they could cut out a little bit, but it was great to go back to the library and actually see the library ghost again. Yeah, that was actually pretty cool. But, again, what I hate is that they they try to draw you in with with her coming out on on the, the seat and shooting. And then the mayor is just like, oh, sorry, spoiling. Spoiler or no spoiling? We already the, spoiled the enough. The thing is, like, honestly, the movie was great, but the first half after the first I, ten I would minutes, say, I would sucked. say a quarter, the first quarter of the movie, but they really got into the ghost busting part, though. They did. I mean, shoot, when they started ghost busting, uh, and honestly, what was the upper side trying sideline Phoebe out of this entire story? They were like. No, that's kind of the basic the side plot is because she was a she's a minor and New York laws state that she can't be walking as a ghostbuster. So yeah, it's just ew, that was some BS because that's basically the catalyst of this whole movie. That's basically talking about the whole uh huh. When you like to watch a movie and then all of a sudden they force. Any kind of wokeness down your throat. Ghost girlfriend. Ghost girlfriend. Anybody? Well, why not? Ghost I'm, girlfriend. Hey, you know what? Ghost girlfriend or sleeping with a slime? It's always the quiet ones. Is Slimer single? Hold on. Oh, I'll be back. Oh hell! Talk, <laughs> talk, hold up! Talk about Slimo. That was epic seeing him actually returning, and they actually gave him a really good role. He's been freaking haunting the, haunting the. He ate another fucking ghost. Now that's fucking pretty. Oh shit! Sorry. Go ahead. Restart. Dang spoiler! Back at it again with the spoiling. Can't take no, this I, man anywhere. I, I, I was talking about the cussing. Alright, so with that said, all around, good movie. Give it a watch. This has been... Alright guys, with that said, this has been Sam and Dan and Mr. Spoiler on the couch again. And we'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.